Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Redstone video and in this one we are going to be taking a look at 10 Ultimate PvP Defense Stations. Now for those of you who don't know, I recently did a video about a pop-up PvP Defense Station and in that video I asked you guys to create your own crazy designs then send them over to me and I have to say, I was not expecting the response that I received. I received hundreds of designs, all of them were absolutely amazing and I've had to narrow it down to just this little selection here. I'm pretty happy with the ones that I've picked, so let's take a closer look. Now I just want to start things off by saying that these are in no particular order, but the first design that we're going to be taking a look at today is by a chap called Flamecrafted. Now the reason I like this design is because there's just so much stuff going on, there's loads of redstone contraptions to look at, and it's a really creative idea. So we just trap down this redstone torch right here, you can see our trap door opens up, we make our way across through the slime blocks, and then pop up into the base area. Now if we just walk through here, we can go up this ladder, and that will take us through into the control room, where there's plenty of things that we can do. First off, we can open up a window so that we can see our enemies. There's also some other defense bits and pieces like fire charges, dispensing of mobs and lava, and all those cool bits. But then if we run through this corridor right here, we make our way into the other bouncy area with slime blocks so that we can launch ourselves onto the top of the cliff and once again do some defense from up at the top here and also toggle some of the switches from this switchboard. Design number two is by a chap called SethXGS. Now, the reason that I like this person is because they have done a ton of different designs. You can see those are my original pop-up PvP defense stations over there, and these are all of the ones that they've come up with. Some of them involve TNT, some of them involve pop-up mobs, and all those good bits. But this is probably one of my personal favorites. All we have to do is chuck down this redstone torch right here, and as you can see, there's a lot of piston action, but the entire floor drops down, and all of these blocks pop up, meaning that we now have a pretty good vantage point to take on a bunch of players. Now this is a designer that I really quite like. It's by a chap called RKF Walker, and it's essentially a pop-up sniper tower, which is something that I personally am quite favorable to. All we have to do is hit this button right here, and as you can see, there's a ton of piston action happening and a little bit of lag, but now we are right the way up in the sky so we can shoot down from here. But also we have got a gigantic lava moat around us and the sniper tower actually looks pretty cool. Like he's seriously put some effort into decorating this thing which is something that I really quite appreciate. This build here is probably one of the most impressive ones to be featured in today's video. First off, take a look at all of the redstone behind it. As you can see, there's a ton of things going on. This is one of the first self-building castles featured today, and it's seriously epic. To get down into the control room, we just have to hoe all of that, and as you can see, these pistons here open up, and already we got a little bit of lag there, which is a bit concerning, because we're going to be building this one. Build all. Warning huge lag. Let's hit that button and just see what happens. I can imagine it's going to be a little bit stressful on the old pooter. As you can see right here, we have dropped down to three frames a second, but everything is starting up and everything is all firing into action. We have got some builds happening. We have got some walls popping up and I think I'm going to have to stop recording. Now, unfortunately, because of the lag of me recording and trying to do that at the same time, sadly, some of it didn't quite work. So as you can see, we've got a few holes in the wall. And most importantly, this building right here looks a little bit rough around the edges. But all in all, this is a seriously amazing structure with some really awesome redstone engineering. You can see that some of the modules are over here. This is how they've designed them. And I just think it's really cool. And of course, links to all of these videos can be found down in the description. Design number five by World of Steves is definitely one of the most creative ones featured in today's video because it makes use of slime block flying machines, which is something that I always get very excited about. As you can see right here, when we hit this button, all of the blocks around me pop up. They start flying off into the air. And there we go. We have got ourselves a floating archery platform. So we can shoot our arrows down here. We can take out all of the players. And on top of that, we just look really cool. We've just taken off into the air, powered by slime blocks and redstone. That's going to impress any players around me. You know what? If I was chasing a player and they just shot off into the air like that, I don't even know if I'd try and fight them anymore. I'd just clap from down on the ground like a peasant. I'd love it. This next design is by a chap called InnoCraft. Now, the reason that I like this thing is because they've essentially taken my original design, but they've made it retractable. The issue with my old design is that it was a one and done type deal. You hit the button, everything would pop up, and that'll be everything finished. This one, you can retract it down back into the ground. So if you hit this button here, you can see that there is my PvP defense station. We have got our defense station around us. We can do all of our sword swinging and arrow firing. And then if we hit the button again, everything begins to be retracted. And this is a very complex redstone contraption indeed. You can see there's a lot of piston action going on. And if we take a look underneath, here is all of the redstone behind it. Yeah, very complicated indeed. 
Now we have this gigantic design by a fantastic YouTuber known as Ronnie Go Boom. As you can see right here, we've got a big flat piece of land, and if we head underneath, we have got a ton of redstone and also a bunch of mobs. Now I'll be honest that there are so many features of this design, so many different ways to kill the players and other bits and pieces that I'm not going to be able to showcase all of those in today's video. However, of course there will be a link to their video down in the description if you do want to see all of the features and all of the different bits that this thing does because seriously, this machine is extremely impressive. This design by the Duke Minecraft has got one of the coolest features I think I've seen in any redstone contraptions ever. Okay, so prepare yourselves, I'm going to be doing this from a third person perspective. I'm going to flick this lever here, then I have to flick it off like this, and lag will start to happen, but hopefully you can see this, okay? So this block is removed, and then we should begin to see things popping out of the ground. It's only a small little design, we have gone down to zero frames a second, but did you see that? Did you just catch that? I don't know if you quite caught that, but basically the sand blocks were launched from over here, onto this tower. How cool is that? That's seriously one of the coolest things ever. I don't know if you quite caught that because the lag was pretty bad, but there we go. We now have ourselves an archery tower and wow, that's just so, so awesome. What a cool way of doing things. I absolutely love it. This design by a YouTuber known as 100% Awesome is another self builder and I have to say it is 100% awesome. We chuck down our pressure plate here, stand on that one and as you can see the sand pops up around us. Now the cool thing about this design is it actually uses a cobblestone generator which means that this is a self replenishing design. If we try and take this out you can see that it gets rebuilt which is pretty cool and that's going to keep us very safe from anyone trying to attack us. And finally, I have saved the best till last. This is the ultimate, ultimate PvP defense station. All of these builds that you can see right here have popped out of the ground using redstone. This is a red noms to build, and it's completely ridiculous. I've done a video showcasing it on its own. They have also done a video showcasing it as well. I'll put links to those on the screen and also down in the description if you do want to see the entire building process. But let's just take a look around. This wall was built using redstone. All of these houses, complete with horses and everything. There's living things inside these houses that have popped out of the ground. It's bonkers. By far the most insane redstone contraption I've ever seen. And if we just take a look underneath, if we just make our way out through here, you can see this is all the redstone. I mean, this is all of it. It's just, it's madness. Complete madness. It doesn't look like any traditional redstone contraption I've ever seen in my life. It uses really strange piston mechanics, but it all seems to work. Crazy. I don't even know what to say. So we have it, ladies and gents. That rounds up today's video on the 10 ultimate PvP defense stations. Let me know down in the comment section if you would like me to do more competitions like this one because I really enjoyed doing it. And of course, your responses are generally absolutely insane. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.